of the world since as a sex tape scandal could in fact be the latest episode in the real life drama over who will become Equatorial Guinea's next president. Over the past fortnight, dozens of videos estimates range from 150 to more than 400 have been leaked of a senior civil servant having sex in his office and elsewhere with different women. There have been flooded on social media shocking and titillating people in the small Central African country and beyond. Many of the women filmed were wives and relatives of people close to the center of power. It appears somewhere where they were being filmed having sex with Baltasar Ebang Egonga, who is also known as Bello because of his good looks. All this is hard to testify as Equatorial Guinea is a highly restricted society where a free press does not exist. But one theory is that the leaks were a way to discredit the man at the center of the storm. Mr. Egonga is nephew of President Theodore Obiang Nguema and one of those thought to be hoping to replace him. Obiang is the world's longest serving president, having been in power since 1979. The 82 year old has overseen an economic boom that has turned to be bust as a result of the now dwindling oil reserves. There is a small, extremely wealthy elite, but many of the 1.7 million people in the country live in poverty. Obiang's administration is heavily criticized for its human rights record, including arbitrary killings and torture, according to a U.S. government report. It has also had its fair share of scandals, including the revelations about the lavish lifestyle of one of the president's sons, now vice president, who, who once owned a $275,000 crystal encrusted glove won by Michael Jackson. Despite regular re elections, there is no real opposition in Equatorial Guinea as activists have been jailed and exiled and those with designs in office are closely monitored. Politics in the country is really about palace intrigue and there is where the scandal involving Mr. Egonga fits in. He was the head of the National Financial Investigation Agency and worked on tackling crimes such as money laundering. But it turned out he, was, he himself was also under investigation. He was arrested on October 25, 2024, accused of embezzling a huge sum of money from state coffers and depositing it in secret accounts in the Cayman Islands. He has not commented on this accusation. Mr. Igonga was then taken to the infamous Black Beach prison in the capital Malabo, where it is alleged that opponents of the government are subjected to brutal treatment. His phones and computers were seized and a few days later, the intimate videos started appearing online. A post to an ex the following day referred to a monumental scandal shaking the regime as pornographic video floods social media. But they are believed to have originally appeared one by one a few days earlier on Telegram on one of the platform's channel known for publishing pornographic images. They were then downloaded onto people's phones and shared among WhatsApp groups in Equatorial Guinea where they caused a storm. Mr. Egonga was quickly identified along with some of the women in the videos, including relatives of the president and wives to ministers and senior military officials. The government was unable to ignore what was going on and on 30th of October, Vice President Theodore Obiang, once owner of the Michael Jackson Group, gave telecom companies 24 hours to come up with ways to stop the spread of the clips. I quote, We cannot continue to watch families fall apart without taking any action. In the meantime, the origin of this publication is being investigated to find the author or authors and make them answer for their actions, he wrote on X. As the computer equipment was in the hands of the security forces, suspicions has fallen on someone there who perhaps sought to trust Mr. Egonga's reputation ahead of a trial. The police have called on women to come forward to open a case against Mr. Egonga for the non-consensual sharing of intimate images. One has already announced that she is suing him. What is not clear is why Mr. Egonga made the recordings, but activists have put forward what could be other motives behind the explosive leak. As well as being related to the president, Mr. Egonga is the son of Baltasa Egonga Ejo, the head of the Regional Economic and Monetary Union, CIMAC, and very influential in the country. I quote, 
What we are seeing is the end of an era, the end of the current president, and there is a succession, and this is the internal fighting we are seeing, said Equitoguinean activist in San Cristina. The vice president, along with his mother, are suspected to be pushing aside anyone who threatens his part to the presidency, including Gabriel Obiangwima, another son of President Obiang from a different woman, who was once oil minister for 10 years and then moved to a secondary government role. Those in the elite are thought to know things about each other that they would rather not make public, and videos have been used in the past to humiliate and discredit a political opponent. There are also frequent accusations of cool plotting, which further fuels paranoia. But Mr. Nsang also alleges that the authorities want to use the scandal as an excuse to crack down on social media, which is how a lot of information about what is really going on in the country gets out. In July, the authorities temporarily suspended the internet after protests broke out on the island of Anubon. The vice president himself was being convicted of corruption in France and has had a lavish asset seized in various countries, wants to be seen as the man cracking down on grafts and wrongdoing at home. In this case, despite the vice president's efforts to stop the spread of the clips, they continue to be viewed. This week, he tried to appear more resolute, calling for the installation of CCTV cameras in government office to combat indecent acts, saying that the scandal had denigrated the image of the country. He also ordered that any official found engaging in sex acts at work would be suspended, as this was a flagrant violation of the Code of Conduct. He was not wrong that the story has attracted a lot of outside interest. Judging by Google's data, search inquiries that include the country's name have shut up since the beginning of this week. On Monday on X, Equatorial Guinea was one of the top trending terms in Kenya, Nigeria, and South Africa, surpassing at times interest in the U.S. election. This has left some activists who have been trying to tell the world about what is really going on in the country frustrated. Unquote. Equatorial Guinea has much bigger problems than this sex scandal. This sex scandal for us is just a symptom of the illness. It is not the illness itself. It just shows how corrupt the system is, said Mr. Cruz, who works for a rights organization. From Lagos, this is Richard Donnick Michael, News Express Nigeria TV.